Hello, and welcome to the Monoprice Test Lab. My name is Dimitri, and today we're going to be unboxing and setting up your new Monoprice Mini SLA Resin 3D printer, and also going over some of its features. First, we'll remove the excess packaging carefully and remove the printer and accessories. Let's set the accessories aside for now. After removing the printer from the box, open the hinge lid on the top of the printer to reveal the remainder of the packaging that secures the built surface and the vat during shipping. Carefully remove the top pieces of tape Once these have been removed, you will now want to plug in the power supply and power on the printer. If you notice anything is missing from the packaging, please contact our Monoprice product support team for further assistance. Now that the unit is powered on, we are able to raise the Z-axis from the LCD menu to remove the foam and tape holding the build plate in place. The build surface is attached to the Z-axis using powerful magnets for quick and easy removal. Just twist the bed and pull it off. Make sure the vat is secured tightly using the included hex wrenches. Now that our printer is unpackaged properly, let's review some of the specifications of the printer and get you ready to start your first print. This particular printer is part of the mini line of printers and is very compact with the printer size being 200 mm by 200 mm with the height of 285 mm. The build volume is 118 mm by 65 mm by 110 mm. It uses UV light to cure each layer of resin with a 57 watt parallel LED array that evenly distributes the light across each layer with an LCD resolution of 2560 by 1440. The printer is also auto leveling, leaving little room for error. The auto leveling is ran before each print starts and when you select the home function on the LCD screen. The printer also comes with a bottle of test resin. Always use gloves when working with uncured resin. Nitrile gloves are recommended for this use. Check to ensure the vat is clean and cleared before adding resin into the vat. If you've already printed on your printer previously, always use a plastic scraper similar to a putty knife to clear the vat. Using metal scrapers can be harmful to the FEP liner found at the bottom of the resin vat. Always shake your resin before pouring it into the vat to ensure the pigment has mixed properly. Once the resin is added to the printer, we can go ahead and run the test print that was included with the printer. With the unit powered off, insert the SD card into the slot on the right side of the unit and then power it back on. Select the included test file from the print menu. Congratulations, you have now successfully completed your first print. Thank you for joining us in the Monoprice Test Lab. I'll see you next time.